All yeah. right, Jack from New Hampshire says, Hey, gang, thanks for everything you do for disc golf. I have two questions. Assuming the owner is nowhere in sight, what is the best way to deal with a barking or aggressive dog on the course? Oh, oh. that owner. Oh, the dog owner. If Say that again? Assuming uh, there is n- uh, the owner is nowhere in sight, what is the best way to deal with a barking or aggressive dog on the course? Hmm. Well, I mean, if it's a loose dog and there's, like, running around... And there's no, you know, like looking around and it doesn't appear to appear to have just gotten away from its owner. You call the dog pound. Or or try to approach the dog if it's nice and if it has a collar, maybe it has a number on it. True. I mean, there's those kind of things. Situations similar to this that happened to us at USDGC one year. Uh, hole number two plays along the fences there with the houses. Yes. And I remember, I think it was Big Germ on my card and a couple other guys. I don't remember who else, but I remember there was a dog right there that would just bark all day long. <laughs> and he would wait, and he would bark when you're trying to throw. Yeah. So what we did is we found some sticks, and we picked up the sticks, and as they were getting ready to throw, we chucked it into their backyard, and the dog <laughs> took off running after it. Okay, throw. And then you throw. And so you're kind of like, yeah, it's kind of a, a little break in the action, so to speak. So that was, that was kind of cool. That, that kind of reminded me of it, but... I don't know what you would do in that other other than that type of a situation. Same. Mm-hmm. Just do your best to tune it out, I guess. So the uh, the second part of his question is still with the dog. Uh, how do you? What is the best way to do with a dog that is waiting for me to throw my disc so it can retrieve it? I like dogs, but don't want my holes in my discs. Tell the owner not to bring that dog. Right. I mean that that's that's rough. Yeah. Y- your dog has to have no pun intended. <laughs> Your dog has to have etiquette as well. I just saw the smallest smile about it. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Puns. That's rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, if, you're, if your dog's going to ch- chase after discs, you need to – well, you probably should have it on a leash regardless. But assuming that your park has lax rules, if your dog is going to chase after discs and tear them up and they're not yours, come on, man. Yeah. Figure it out. Walter came in great uh, use for us. When we threw a couple of discs in water that you could see, it was pretty shallow, but we couldn't quite get out to it. The only time he'll get a disc is if I'm like, hey, get it, Walter, get it. And he just walked right out in the water, grabbed it, came back. Sebastian would be Cause, no Because no he's use. a good yeah. boy. Yeah. No, so Sebastian would just jump at you like, ah. Yeah. yeah, Ralph doesn't like Frisbees. Yeah, Ralph doesn't even like Not interesting. Maverick How, what is Maverick? Maverick doesn't care about discs, but he's got a bite. He loves his bite. Yeah. So if I throw the bite That's in the backyard, right. he'll jump and catch it. Or if I roll it, he'll run and catch it. But if you yeah. have a disc and you're putting in the backyard and you just say no, he knows. Yep. That's, what, that's the same as what 